Good evening, everyone. In this video tonight, we'll do a reading about career. The question is, will I be able, no, will I be an outcast at work forever? What will my career look like in the future? So from this question, we can tell that the person is really frustrated. They feel like an outcast at work. There are some problems probably with uh, colleagues, you know, there's something like, uh, you know, the reason why the person thinks they are outcast. So let's have a look. First, we'll see what's the situation and then we'll ask about the future. So there are like two questions. Okay, if you'd like to participate, please think about your career, think about your, you know, working situation with other people at work, you know, how you get along with others at work. And we will have a look and choose your deck and then we will have a look and take your time, please. Have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one, Yukioe Tarot deck. What do we need to know about your work situation right now? So let's see what it says. Sometimes um, what you think is important, cards think it's not important. And what you think is not important, they, they think it's important. So what do we need to know about your work situation? Page of Cup, King of Swords, and Strength. Well, we might have a conflict with uh, your superior here. You might be like a Page of Cups, and they might be like the King of Swords plus Strength. So it means that basically you might be this new, innocent young person who is very naive and uh, sensitive, you know. Um, maybe you're very idealistic. It reminds me of when a person starts working for the first time, they have these ideals and, you know, that people should be like this and the workplace should be like this. And, you know, when you actually face your end at the workplace, the reality sends you a horrible boss, you know, a horrible superior who is absolutely uh, rude, for example, rude, uh, forceful, like a despot or something. So we exactly have that sort of clash between this young sensitivity and this uh, cruel, angry kind of boss who uses, who shouts maybe, who uses criticism, who uses even sometimes maybe some sort of force. It can be psychological, it can be, you know, this emotionally an approachable person who is just having this side of themselves who's mean. Yeah, they look mean. So yeah, if that's your situation and you're worried about that, it could be that you're right. Actually, it's validating your, uh, your problem. It says you're right. It is a situation like that. It is a situation where it's incompatible, you can see. It's very traumatizing for you. To be in that workplace with this type of person because you are just so pure and goody goody person and they are so horrible and cold and angry you know there must be a reason why they like that but we cannot go there right now <laughs> so what is advice for you about this this sword energy Seven of King of Cups. Hmm. So it says um, it does say that maybe there is another person in the workplace 
who is a king of cups, who is a better person. So it can say that hang out with this person more. Um, it can talk about growing up as a person as well. So, for example, from the king of from the page of cups, you become the king of cups. You grow up emotionally, means you increase your positivity even more. You increase. You do not try to become like they, but you try to be more like who you are. You know, you're trying to be who more who you are. So instead of trying to copy them and fit in by becoming like them, it's maybe to strengthen your good qualities even more so that you kind of shine and you know try to increase your beliefs and your values you know you should uh, take that to the next level it could be saying that of course it says that this job can be paid quite well that there is some sort of use for you to be there it can point to a job where uh, children are involved students children young people, you know, like a teaching job maybe. So it can say do not focus on that evil people who are there in the work at work, um, but focus where there are good people at work, you know. Maybe there are kids at work, for example, who are nice. So you should focus on them and what they need and forget about that. Not forget, but let's see, decrease the focus on that. King of Swords and Strength. Basically, just be a good person. Ignore whatever, that fear part. Don't be afraid. Just shine your uh, positivity and... Uh, positive values that you have out there so that's our answer right now and what will your career look like in the future okay we have a pretty good um, situation a uh, um, beautiful situation actually this, these are the best cards ever it says that uh, you will learn a lot and you maybe already are quite good at what you do so your skill levels are really high and uh, there'll be some sort of like a celebration of you being so good at your work basically satisfaction and some sort of um you will be aware that you're doing good, you know, at your work. But things will even more, they will escalate into the better. Again, you will be brought uh, more happiness at work. You will have more success. It will only grow. Yeah. And in the end, that it might bring you more work and more clients because it's growing, it's becoming bigger. So you'll have more work and more clients, which in the end can mean success. But at the same time, you could hardly uh, keep up with all that good, what is happening. So the, the only risk is too much work and too much, um, you will be too much in demand. So yeah, that sort of situation uh, we have. And let's pull one love attraction card. Seeking approval of others hinders my joyousness. <clears throat> this card comes when we put blame others and we are too affected by what others are saying about us or how they're talking to us. You know, when we take things personally too much and we're too sensitive. So yeah, it's literally what it says. In this case, the thing that you're doing wrong is looking for approval maybe subconsciously not consciously but this card is saying that it's you should not seek for approval no matter who these people are you should approve of yourself you know yourself you should give yourself that so this is our reading number one and let's move on to our reading number two now okay 
Let's move to our reading number two, Spanish Tarot. The question is, will I be an outcast at work forever? What will my career look like in the future? We have this good money card. We have big, big money, lots of money. Uh, it doesn't seem like you're an outcast. It looks like a big corporation. It looks like a well-paid job. It looks like... Um, you're respected because you earn a lot, things like that. <clears throat> or it can mean that you're earning so much, what do you care? So, well, so let's see, what uh, do these cards want to tell about your uh, career working situation right now, especially about your, you know, relationships at work? Working relationships. We have two of wands. We have eight of. Okay. So we pretty much have like a balance. No, no drama. It's like the same every day. It's just monoton more monotony than it just being shown. Like maybe. It can be that you interact with people at your work, you know, you interact with people, but it's kind of very balanced, very kind of good, very neutral, very, it doesn't cause you any problems, it's just good old work, that sort of situation, re repetitive something, you know, maybe you don't even directly face, um, I don't know, a boss, something like that, but it might be that you're working with clients, you know, you're writing something, it's very repetitive, you keep passing on some notes or papers to someone, so it's like clients and people, you meet one-on-one -on -one, uh, with someone. So here it's very clear, you know, what is your role and what are their role? No, no, no drama. What is the advice? Um, talking about others. Well, it does seem like um, simply, you know, looking into the future, think about the future, you know, be more strategic, be more... Um, kind of in clever do not say whatever comes to your mind do not just express everything that comes to your mind be a little bit clever or maybe it's even saying emotionally clever so to say um think about what you say how that affects your relationships that sort of thing and um and it has some sort of emotion. It's talking, it's talking about emotions and emotional part. Um, twice. Emotional part. So, yeah, we do have uh, lovers. Lovers can talk about friendships and relationships uh, with people. Uh, and that they are very intense, and that they are very unexpected, can be destructive. Justice after lovers says that we should um, do not get into that emotional too much. We should be a bit clever, a bit um, controlling of our emotions. And yeah, as I said, think what you say, think how you act, your, how, how is your body language. Do not give your emotions to people, hide them. You know, maybe it's about work. Um, ethics, you know, says that do not, especially romantic relationships, uh, maybe it's warning you against developing romantic relationships at work. Because this justice is, it doesn't really understand emotions. It just understands the rules. Okay, so um, what will your career look like in the future? What will your career look like in the future so we we do have um, it might be that you will question yourself 
about um, you know your skills, your abilities, you know uh, whether you are good at what you do. Maybe there'll be some sort of doubts about the way things are going. It can be you'll receive some sort of offers from others, three jobs maybe, and you'll think about it. Should you leave this for a better job or something like that? But overall, it shows that you're very stable, career is very stable. You always have money, you will have money, you know, in the future as well. Maybe you're good with money because money is not leaving you, you're there, the king of coins here. So it shows about a good level of um, money awareness, financial awareness here. It's like no matter what happens, you'll never be out of money. What you should do about your career so uh, these cards can talk about some sort of dreams maybe you are dreaming about let's say a holiday or maybe you're dreaming about traveling somewhere uh, like another country or another part of the world you know so maybe it's uh, advising you to take a holiday or uh, travel somewhere or maybe you have a dream life that is different from what you're living right now so Maybe these cards are inviting you to think about it. Like, it's like you're working in a very stable job, you have the money, but your real dream is to travel around the world. So these cards might say that give it a go, you know, think about it, think about those other dreams that you have. You know, maybe it's time. So that sort of situation. Now let's pull one love attraction card. For your situation. I see this day as a positive new beginning. It's never too late to have a new beginning. Okay, so this card comes when we are really getting into the monotony, into the routine, into that rut, and we stop being happy. It starts, the life starts seeing like the end, not the beginning. So this card is saying that uh, you can imagine that, I mean, not imagine, it actually is truth. This day is also the beginning. Uh, you can see it as the end, but you can see it as the beginning. So if you live as if it's your first day on the planet Earth, it might bring you more enthusiasm and, you know, um, you know, passion into your life. It's like you forget the past and imagine this is the day you're born and you're just living that day as if it's the first day in your life. And then the next day comes and you again live that day like it's the first day in your life. Yeah, and yeah, it's when we get a little, a little bit bogged down by this, uh, everything is boring, it's the same again and again and again, over and over again, you know, and there's nothing new to expect, nothing new, nothing interesting, you know, so it's good to think differently in this case, you just change your perspective. <clears throat> Yeah, also imagine how would you live if you were born today? How would you look at the world? Where would you go? What would you do? And things like that. Okay, so this was our reading number two. Let's move on to our deck number three. Deck number three is a cosmic tarot. And the question is, will I be an outcast at work forever what will my career look like in the future it's for everyone who feels like an outcast at work or just slightly and another question is what will your career look like in the future <clears throat> so first what do we need to know about your career about your work situation workplace anything i'm having an open question here what do we need to know okay this indicates a problem this is stressful it shows that low self-esteem uh, feeling bad about yourself being criticized by someone the king of wands can be female can be male but always stress as a, an, 
a situation that doesn't allow you grow growth you feel limited you don't feel like you're free you feel watched you feel criticized you feel uh, like you're afraid and there's tension and stress and and there is someone mean there it can be a rules that I mean it can be the authority that 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 is mean it can be people who work there that are after you all the time so this indicates a real problem here like it really validates your fears if if that's what you're experiencing it can be some sort of tough competition where you kind of always lose or you always have to be you know ready to fight and you know on your toes like I don't know that sort of feeling not a very pleasant feeling whoops Temperance is coming out. It's the card of peace and balance. A star is the hope. You have to have the hope, but that's if the star comes out, the situation must be really bad because you really need to get your all soul, all spirit to be hopeful and to be really philosophical and spiritual and strong in order to have this type of hope. Because this hope is like... It can show that you're actually undergoing some sort of spiritual growth at your work. Uh, these situations don't happen just like that. You know, they are trying to make you strong. There is some sort of reason why it's it's happening. What are these lessons trying to teach you? So it's interesting. It's like literally reading these cards would be that your the more you want something. The more you want something, the less you succeed at that. The feeling is you're doing all your best and then it's basically it fails, you know. it's um, Maybe it says that it's like a test, you know, to check how much you want what you're doing, you know. Uh, and... Um, and it's about... Uh, how much are you willing to sacrifice for a dream? It's like checking you out. You know, are you ready to lose everything? Your death can talk about uh, changing a perception. It's messing with your how you view the world and how others view the world. It's like real, real uh, transformation of your uh, maybe values and how you see the world and how you see yourself in this world and and it's really a growth i would say this is growth and uh, it's like how much do you want what you want how much are you willing to sacrifice for dreams and how much are you willing to fall how many times you're willing to fall and how many times you're gonna get up from when you fall also, uh, there is a mean. There can be a meaning that you are in the wrong career. You're in the wrong profession. Uh, where you're trying to achieve so much, if it feels like forcing yourself, if it feels like nothing is happening right, it can mean that this is not. You're not on the right path. It can mean that there is another path for you, uh, which is more unrealistic and more like a dream which you should pursue. So, let's see, what will your career look like in the future? Prince of Wands, Prince of Swords. So, here we do have success with the lovers in the... It's success through struggle. It's something different, creative, I would say. In the beginning, in your career, you feel like you're just um, starting, you don't know much, you're just beginning, you know, you're just... There might be lots of criticism and pain while trying to learn new things, but uh, it's something that you love, let's say. And there is some sort of results, like talent, maybe you have a talent there, and people say that you're very talented yeah but also there is a criticism from other another side some other people say that you're 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 bad at this and in the end it comes to again it's up to the creative your creative side you know it's um, good here it shows abundance and 
kind of health and growth. It can be that your career is unusual. For example, it's something like you will become like an artist or a housewife or something to do with your home and something maybe fashion. It can be something feminine. It can be that very unusual, very unexpected and not like, how do I say, mainstream. Maybe you'll invent a new new way to work. Maybe it's working from home. Maybe it's working alone. Maybe it's working not in corporate at all. I don't feel like this is a corporate, some sort of... Maybe it's like a different path whatsoever. So it will lead you where you need to be, but you have to follow your deepest dreams doesn't matter how unrealistic they look maybe the dreams that you were having as a child for example to be someone to be an artist or a writer or some sort of singer or fashion designer and uh, maybe gardener it can be very simple but um, if you really trust in the dream it will help you get through all the obstacles and criticism I think self-esteem and being faithful to yourself is very important here. Never abandoning yourself no matter what others are saying. Others can abandon, abandon you, but you should not. Okay, one card came out. Physical well-being is only one good thought away. So this card literally comes actually when you might not have a good health, physical health. And here we have Eight of Swords stress, big anxiety, uh, chariot and three of wands can show that you're very uh, stubborn and very uh, not afraid of taking stress and to the extreme in order to achieve something. So that can cause your health be not so good, you know, and it can say that you're, you're worried about your health. So it says, this card can come out when you worry about your health doesn't matter how serious it is. It says that physical well-being is only one good thought away. So basically, it's about thought. It's about you have to find a good thing to think about, a good thought, some sort of hopeful um, good thought. This card talks about the power of thoughts and that miracles are possible. Okay. So yeah, in this reading, I would say this is the message. Um, it says that there is a place you don't know about right now because you're not in that frequency, but there is that place where miracles happen, where things shift, and where basically that what you want is there, you know, but you cannot see it right now. You have to go one step at a time. Uh, and you can reach there once you go somewhere else, and that somewhere else will lead you there. It's usually try to think something absolutely different from what you've been thinking recently. That should get you out of that place where you are right now. Okay. It also not only talks about physical health, it talks about depression and mental health as well, and all the well-being. Okay, this was our reading number three. Let's move on to our reading number four. Deck number four, three Raphaelite tarot deck. So, the question is, will I be an outcast at work forever? What will my career look like in the future? So, what do we need to know about your work situation right now? Okay, we have six of wands. Well, here we have a successful moment right now at your work. You, you are being encouraged by your friends, by people. You're being approved of by people. You're very likable person uh, at work you have friends you have supporters fans subscribers it can be anything 
And if you, whatever you work uh, in that place, you have success and you have victory and you have achievements. And also people like you there. You know, people like you, you have your group, you have your friends, your supporters, etc. So overall, it's good. It's good because it shows you're liked and supported. It doesn't mean you're necessarily happy. Uh, but good things are there. This is the truth. Most likely, you yourself worked hard for that. And uh, people respect that. What is advice when we talk about your work and career? Okay, two of swords. So it wants to focus you on saving, on financial things and on being aware financially about everything what's happening. Maybe saving more, being more... Uh, financially focused so to say think about money more um, think about how to intelligently save the money and how to manage your money in a safe way maybe it's not a, the best time to spend right now not the best time to invest even it's the best time to actually really be that stingy person you know to really appreciate what you have and really hold on to what you have financially you know who knows maybe it's temporary the success is right now on the high and maybe there'll be a low coming up so it's better to keep that money with you and it doesn't show about a lot of like super action you know this card is kind of passive you know peace and don't do anything like act, uh, any action this is also not encouraging too much action hmm for some people, we can talk about like contracts, writing some sort of contracts. Um, like maybe some offers will come, so you can say yes to them. Some opportunities and gifts will come, you know, that sort of thing. So accept them, you know. So we have that sort of situation here. Yeah, again, it says that uh, maybe you'll get a call about um, about finances, about someone giving you an offer or offers, like a lot of calls, actually, a lot of opportunities financially. So it's just like uh, be ready, accept it for, you know, to accept all this, all these good things. So what is so what will be of career in the future? What is the future? Right now it's very good. What is in the future? So you see in, in the future there might be um, downfall. So to say it can be a little bit of financial... Um, some sort of downfall uh, maybe because of some move or because of some family situation um, maybe some change will happen uh, maybe you'll shift your your focus in your work maybe you'll try to experiment with new areas at work and that will not be so financially profitable or something so something is might happen something like interesting new challenges let's say it can be for some people illness like for of a relative maybe you'll have to care for a relative or something um, so you know save the money right now and try to be very intelligent with what is happening because in the future there might be some sort of expenses maybe health expenses medical expenses something that you didn't doesn't belong on doesn't depend on you and you do not expect you know 
Yeah, it can be buying things, going to a doctor, paying the doctor, and uh, spending your money like that. Uh, or it doesn't have to be a doctor. It can be just something like that, you know, unexpected expenses maybe you're gonna go to psychotherapist or like hypnotherapist or something like for mental health and for some sort of growth spiritual you know you're gonna pay money there or you're gonna need to pay mo uh, money there so yeah and let's pull one law of attraction card what is the advice for you Again, seeking approval of others hinders my joyousness. So maybe you uh, people's pleaser here. <clears throat> you overdo for other people because cars are pretty positive. People like you. So I suppose you're trying to please them. And that's how you get um, that love, you know, <clears throat> and success. So sometimes uh, bad, bad uh, when people are criticizing us or people are over-appreciating us, both are... Uh, two faces of approval and it's best to be independent of that approval because there are many people and they all see different things and then when you str uh, try to please them all you feel like falling apart and uh, you cannot basically do that all the time uh, you have to be kind of centered in yourself and stay the same no matter what you know um, so it says you might exhaust yourself and stress yourself out by trying to approve others and you might not know that you're trying to please people and you're aware of that that much but this card is saying that maybe it's better maybe you're not happy you know maybe you're not happy although people praise you for example so it's important to detach and say no and, and things like that be a little bit self um, centered <laughs> self-centered grounded Okay, this was our reading number four. <clears throat> I hope that this was helpful for you and I hope that it answered your question. I do hope you overcome all your challenges at work and I hope that you find uh, some sort of strategy, technique or you know how to cope with the things that are ho happening and actually those unpleasant difficult things that are happening. It's make, making us, helping us grow and if you really don't like the situation, it's important to know that you can leave the situation yourself. And if you choose to stay in the situation, you need to remember that it's your choice and that uh, you choose to stay in that situation so that you get, gain that power back. Okay, thank you again and have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.